so I have a confession to make. I've not yet had a win in online multiplayer racing. So in this series, I'll be uploading every single Friday, 8 p.m. UK time, until I get that first place. Please feel free to leave any tips you have or any cars or tune codes in the comments below. It'll really help me out and it'll be much appreciated. Also, if I do use your cars or your tune codes, I'll give you a little shout out too. Right, let's get into it. So onto my first practice lap, and you can see this Ferrari in front of me. It's currently P1. I like to find a player who's currently in P1 and sort of race against him in the practice laps. It helps me get a feel of how he's racing and how he's doing so well. Allows me to sort of pick my lines like he would and figure out how my car's gonna drive for this race. Now, unfortunately, this Ferrari is the complete opposite build of my car. You can see on the straights, he's way faster than me. But in the corners, he becomes a little bit of a nuisance. He's sort of in my way, ruining my lap times. He's bumping me here and there. If you do get paired up with a guy who's really fast in the straights, but really crap around the corners, it does make for a really, really hard race. On to qualifying now, and my first lap, I ruin it by cutting that first corner. But the second lap, I do put down 155 which currently puts me in P3. Now onto the race, and I like to adjust my fuel and my tires to whatever the first place person is currently using. This means that I can sort of match his lap times, if I was good enough that is, and I'd also match his pit stops and his tire wear level. So I think it gives me sort of the best opportunity to do well in that race. Straight off the line here, I get up to second. However, this RX-7 is quite slow in a straight line and I do drop down to fifth by the first corner, make a bit of a hash by the first corner, and I go into the back of this NSX in front of me. Don't really leave myself anywhere to go, but I do pick up a fourth place. That is until the next corner, and I'm pushed onto the inside line, don't have anywhere to go, and I do drop down to fifth. Onto the next corner, these three cars come up the inside of me. I should have pushed out to the outside corner, really, but that was my mistake, but nothing bad really happened. Then this NSX managed to go off track a little bit, so I do pick up a fourth place. Following this white car, I do make a mistake. I do go into the back of him, and I do pick up a half a second penalty. That was completely my fault, nothing to do with the white car, so I'm sorry to that guy. And then like I say, this RX-7 on the straight isn't very good. So this, I think it's a GT86 by the look of it, just comes flying past me. So we're coming back down to the first corner here, and this NSX is all over me. I'm looking at the arrow more than I'm racing, but I'm trying to sort of stay out of his way a little bit, and I move over to the outside just to let him go on the inside of me and keep it clean, keep it racing. But I can tell this next corner that he's gonna go a little bit wide, well, I thought he was gonna go a little bit wide, give me the room to go up the inside of him, but he's got other ideas. I end up making contact with him, and he ends up pit maneuvering me. Now, we should have just touched the brakes a little bit there, but he's really aggressive and he doesn't let up, ends up putting me into the sand. I'll go down to 12th position, and that's where I stay for about a lap. So at the end of the main straight, the NSX has gained about a second and a half on me. This RX-7 is so slow on the straights and his car is way more powerful than mine. He's closed the gap to about half a second and it's about here that I get really, really nervous. I don't want to repeat of what happened before, so I just try and keep to the racing line and you can see by the arrow, he is all over me. He's getting really close here. He gets a little bit too close, a little bit of contact. He's such an aggressive driver, puts himself straight into the sand and I've got a little bit of breathing room. But again, it comes to the straight and he is all over me i break early because there's a bit of there's a bit of commotion up in front of me so i'll break a little bit early just to try and just to try and pick my line but he's got other ideas he smacks into me yet again puts me into this alpine and annoyingly he gets up to 10th i make up one position luckily but it's so annoying that he's so aggressive he doesn't get any penalties he gets up to 10th and i only managed to get one position after all of that commotion so I'm currently in 11th, I can see that he's in front of me, I've got no worry about him crashing into me. I just stick behind him, and fortunately for me, this guy, this guy goes into the barrier, it flips over, and uh, I gain a position. I'm now up into 10th. Not too worried about the guy behind me, he does seem to be dropping back a little bit. That's it, the end of the race, I get 10th place, not a good race. I started in 3rd, I've dropped back 7 positions. I don't know if it's me or the RX-7, but my lap time sucked. They're way off the pace of the first place. In fact, they're way off the pace of everyone in the race. But you know me, I'm not a quitter. So I'll make a few adjustments to my RX-7, little bit more power, little bit less grip, 
and we're on to the next race. The next race happens to be at the Nürburgring, which is a track that I absolutely love and I do know a little bit. I spent a lot of time racing around this track. That's not to say that I'm good, I'm still pretty bad, but it's one of my favorite tracks in the world. So let's hope that I can do a little bit better on this one. So unfortunately, I didn't get any practice laps on this one. I joined it a little bit late, but I still managed to get P5 in quali. So let's see how I do. So onto the race now and I get an amazing start, straight up into third. This RX-7's got some massive rear tyres with this wide body kit. I think they're like 355 or something stupid, so it does really help me get away from the start. Around the first corner, I do get a little bit sideways, a little bit of wheel spin, and I do take it a little bit wide. Like I say, I did reduce the grip just a little bit for that little bit more power. I think that's probably the right call at the Nürburgring, because even though there's quite tight corners, they're always after quite a long straight, so that acceleration really does help me keep in the game and keep me moving. Onto the second lap already, nothing really happened in the first lap i just kept it clean didn't get any penalties didn't make any mistakes almost got a penalty there on the first corner of the second lap i did cut it just a little bit but i got lucky to not get a penalty and we're still in the race it was about here that i noticed that first place is really taking off he's six seconds quicker than me after the first lap and the player in second position as well he's really taking off he's three seconds a lap quicker too i see this guy behind me either windy bottom what a name by the way he's gaining on me every single corner i make a stupid little mistake there and he does get within a second of me coming up to the chicane i take the chicane pretty slowly and he just passes me like i'm standing still i don't even know what car that is looks like some maybe ford gt or jaguar i don't even know but he's just passed me like i'm standing still onto the straight and he just gets away i don't know why but i'm just really really slow but i'm still in fourth and fifth place doesn't seem to be catching me too fast so at least i've made up one position as it stands now Onto the last lap of the race, I'm still in fourth. Nothing really happened this race. It was quite a good race, really. There was no contact, but I'm just off the pace, like I say. So if you've got any tunes, any cars, any tips for me, anything, please do leave it in the comments below. Like I say, I'll be uploading these every Friday. I really do enjoy Forza Motorsport, so any tips that you can give me will be appreciated. And like I say, I will shout you out if, they're, if they do really help me out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm not too good, but hopefully in the future I will get better. Maybe even invest in a sim rig, because at the moment I am playing on controller. Maybe that will give me that advantage I need. Who knows? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next Friday.